I apologise that my hair looks terrible. Because it really... What? What? What is... No, do you know what? I'm going to have to redo this. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey there, guys. It's Nina here. Hope everyone is good. So today, I am filming the concert tag. I haven't done a tag in literally forever. So I'm doing the concert tag because I love concerts. I go to so many live shows, so many concerts, so many gigs, like all the time. So as soon as I saw this tag, I actually saw this from Zoe London. I'll leave the link to her video in the bio. But as soon as I saw this tag, I was like, yes, this is such a me tag. So, um, let's get started. Okay, so question number one is, first concert you attended? I went to concerts quite later in life. I never got to go to a concert as a child. My first concert I went to was, I think I was like 14 or 15, so I was a teenager. I saw My Chemical Romance at Wembley Stade, no, at Wembley Arena on the Black Parade Tour. That was my first concert. This is a picture of me from that concert. I was so MCR AF. What was your most recent concert? My most recent concert was extremely recent. It was literally yesterday from the day I'm filming. And I went to the Apple Music Festival yesterday and I saw the 1975, who are my current favorite band. I absolutely love them to death to death question three how many concerts have you been to now this is a question i physically <laughs> cannot answer i genuinely cannot tell you the answer to that um i can give you a guesstimation i'm guessing i've been to like probably more than a hundred percent more than a hundred concerts like hands down I've been to more than a hundred. If you're adding concerts, gigs, festivals, everything, I've probably been to like 200 in total. God, that's so much. Which artist have you seen the most live? The artist I've seen the most live is a band called Canterbury. And if you've been following me for a few years, you'd probably have seen my Canterbury vlogs. Um, I saw them 36 or seven times. And that was only in the space of like two years, which is just insane. Second to them is uh, One Direction, who I've seen about 26 times. <laughs> it just sounds crazier every time you say it. What's the furthest you've ever traveled for a concert? I'm pretty sure actually Germany's probably the furthest I've been. Or Amsterdam. Where, what's further? I'm pretty sure Germany's further than Amsterdam, but yeah. Germany. Best opening act you've seen? I'd probably say the best opening act I've seen is Five Seconds of Summer because the first time I saw them when they supported One Direction I didn't really like them that much um, but I think after seeing them live I was like oh my god they're literally amazing um, yeah they're they were, they were a good opening act for One Direction have you met band slash artists at concerts? Um, yes I love to meet bands and just to tell them that they're great and that they are life-changing and amazing so um, if there's an opportunity to meet the band for example sometimes some bands after their show smaller bands at gigs will come to like the um, what's the word I'm thinking of some smaller bands come to the merch table like after their shows and do like a little impromptu meet and greet which um, Canterbury used to do all the time. Have you met internet friends at concerts? I think the majority of me meeting people are from concerts. Number nine, have you ever caught a guitar pick, set list or drumstick? So there was this one incident that will honestly go down in history. And this is from when I saw Panic at the Disco at the Camden Roundhouse in, I want to say 2007 um, or 2008. There's a hair in my eye. Um, yeah, it was either 2007 or 2008. And... <laughs> Um, the actual band were like on the barrier after the show and it was the Pretty Odd tour so they had these sashes that said Pretty Odd and these things were like, you couldn't buy them they were only from the stage show so basically after the show they were dangling them off the barrier and um, Ryan or Brendan threw down the sash 
and it fell in the middle of this big circle of girls, including me. And I jumped up to catch it, but I messed up my landing and landed on a girl. And yeah, she kind of broke her leg. But to this day, she does not know that it was me. The weirdest thing, I did not know this girl. And then I randomly saw her at my college, like three years later. Turns out she was from the same area as me. She went to my college, we had all the same friends. We became friends. And I'm pretty sure she still does not know that I jumped on her and broke her leg at a Panic! at the Disco concert. So if you're watching this, I'd like to apologise for breaking your leg. Bands make you do crazy things. The last question is best concert you've ever been to and why? I would probably say the best concert I've ever been to was my first concert um, from when I saw My Chemical Romance because I'd never been to a concert and it was such a big theatrical show and to finally be in a crowd of people that like got me and that I got was like really strange so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed because i like to make videos so stay tuned for more videos that will definitely be coming and i apologize i'm just gonna throw a little disclaimer out there i apologize that i have not been filming as regularly as i usually would i've been really swamped with work and if you haven't noticed my room is completely different Look, ooh, things, ooh, a background, yeah. Um, I couldn't film because I was redecorating, so I just didn't have anywhere to film. So yeah, it literally took like two weeks because I was like really busy. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.